driving down the road, headed to uh, the office for a men's group Monday live stream with the boys from Patreon. I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I'm like, you know, there's lots of things that people want me to shoot a video on. There's lots of things that people want me to talk about. And I was thinking about what do I want to talk about? And one of the things that is always near the top of my head is this dichotomy. And I was aware of the word dichotomy before I was aware of Jocko Willink. <laughs> and I want my damn word back. I like the word dichotomy. I like Jocko too, but anyway, the dichotomy that I'm talking about is that I'm not that special. I'm also really damn special. And so, what I'm getting at here is that, you know, in the macro, I'm not that special. I'm just a guy. I'm just an ordinary man. That's it. You know, I get up, I drink coffee, I try and, you know, love on my wife and my kids, uh, let them know that they're valued and appreciated, and oftentimes I suck at it. I'm constantly course correcting from too much of this versus not enough of that versus blah, blah, blah. You know, I mean, I just, I get the question constantly, Bear, how do you do it? <laughs> I put out buyers all the time. You know, I've just trying to run my businesses, trying to be a friend and a brother and a husband and a father and, and oftentimes feeling like I do a piss poor job of it. Always wishing that there was more of me to go around. Now, I have the same concerns as everybody else does. How are we going to pay this bill? What about that thing? Maybe we should see the doctor about that. Boy, I hope that that thing doesn't blow up because we won't have the money to replace that thing for the next six months or whatever, you know, and call this guy, email this woman, uh, order this thing, you know, it's life. It's just normal life. I'm just a normal guy. I'm not special. The flip side is that I am. It's the realization that I was fearfully and wonderfully created for this very moment. That it's not an accident. That it's not random. You get people all the time say, man, it takes so much faith to believe in a creator just believe in science and show up in the comments on our channel constantly. Um, no, I'm good, thanks. You know, people miss the fact uh, that I spent a decade in apostasy. I spent a decade at war with the Most High. Guess who won? He did. And so... You know, what takes more faith? Believing in scientific randomness and half a stance? You know, that somehow there was a giant explosion. We don't know how, but all the matter that ever existed was condensed into one pinpoint you know, literally the tip of a pin and was infinitely dense and infinitely hot and then somehow, we don't know how, it exploded at the speed of light or damn near it, outward in all directions, omnidirectional, and that eventually, over trillions of years, that slowed, it degraded from the speed of light to 2% below the speed of light and some of these little tiny particles, these atoms, and 90% of which, by volume, question mark, we can't explain, started coalescing, and as they bumped into each other, they started to form gravity because their mass, you know, they're now cohesive, 
and then that eventually turned into clouds of gas and that gas eventually, you know, and then we got balls of matter and that gas ignited and then we got stars and those balls of matter. Somehow all this stuff happened and one of those balls of rock named Earth somehow got liquid water on it and that liquid water somehow, some chains of amino acids somehow got in this water and then they were struck by lightning or something happened and then those somehow formed single-celled organisms that over billions of years improvised, adapted, and overcame and turned into multi-celled organisms and then, you know, two-legged mammal hominids like us and then our brains got big enough that we could finally comprehend all of that shenaniganry or loving all-powerful creator said let it be and it was and so in the context of let it be and it was the idea that I was fearfully and wonderfully created in the image of that and you were fearfully and wonderfully created in the image of that, the Most High Yahweh, for a purpose, for this very moment in time, to do what makes you infinitely special, makes me infinitely special. And I try not to think about that too much because the implications can be so overwhelming if you stop and think about the reality of how many people are on the other side of this iPhone. The reality of how many lives, how many ears and eyeballs are affected. And I try, I try, I'm a man, I will fail you. I have said this before. I say this all the time when we read the Bible. I will fail you because I am not perfect special and I'm nothing special but the reality of that the weight of that if I think about it too long settles on my shoulders and it gets really real and I get emails from people say thank you bear I've gotten back in my Bible because of you I've recommitted myself to Messiah because of you I've repaired relationships with my family members because of you. I've given my life to my creator Yahweh because of you and it's not because of me. It's got nothing to do with me. It's because of him. But it shreds me to experience the provision and blessing that comes along with being involved with his perfect will and his perfect plan that I can exercise my free will to partake in and it just slays me so I'm not that special I'm not and on the other hand we are all infinitely special and wonderful and fearfully and wonderfully created in the image of our creator to do his will, to advance his kingdom, to do his things, not our things. It's not our way, it's Yahweh. So, thank him. Don't thank me. It can't be me. I'm not designed to carry the burden of implications if it is me. It's not me. It's him. And if I think about it for too long, it'll make a man weep. So that's what's on my mind going to men's group tonight. Maybe I'll see y'all there. <laughs>